going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Remember, while we're going through the program, call the prayer lines. Please don't go through things alone. We are seeing miraculous things on that prayer line. You know, like we said, the glaucoma healed. And, and we have a great joke about that because my last co-host that got married and went off, I said, oh, there was a gal that was, um, that was healed. On, on the prayer line, she was healed from guacamole, and she goes, well, I hope God don't heal me from guacamole, because I love it. I <laughs> but, you know, God is so good, but yes. I meant glaucoma. Can you believe God did that? God healed guaco gu gu guacamole, uh, glaucoma. The blind is um, seen. We've had deaf hearing. We've had the lame walking, people out of wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. Call the prayer lines. Yeah. Be one of them. Please don't go through things alone. I'm telling you, you know, we don't ask you for anything. My heart has been on those prayer lines never to solicit anybody. God takes care of us. You will never get a solicitation mail letter from me because I don't know who you are. I don't know your address. I know nothing. We are there to see your breakthrough mm -hmm. and see your salvation and to see you be everything Christ died for you to be. So please do not be afraid to pick up that phone. We have evangelists, pastors, preachers. We've had pastors repenting and, and I mean it's, it's amazing what God is doing on these prayer lines. And that's how we know the fruit of what God is doing and the power of what he's doing through these shows. And we're so humbled and grateful mm. to be a part of them. So remember, call those prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. That 7729B will not be sorry. God's got something so big for you. And we believe here. We have faith. And I don't know what happens, but people that, the one guy said he went to every miracle uh, healing service he could, all the big guns and everything. And he said, one day on God's view, we were talking about healing, stretched our hands mm -hmm. and prayed, and he walked from that day. Amen. So, you know, I don't know what, what the moment is and how God, but you know what? It could be your moment. So call and do it and get your miracle today, okay? Woo! We're going to be talking yes. about 2022. God is speaking <laughs> to us. So welcome. If you we're just clicking through the channel. I'm Charlene back to Miriam, God's View host. This is Stephanie Besh, Priscilla Pruitt, Lana Gardner, the wild redhead. <laughs> she keeps us laughing though. She does. She's wild in a nice way. Wild in a nice way. <laughs> And I'll, I'll remember, remember that day we were talking, I forget what we were talking about, the inner beauty of God. And she goes, hey, I have inner beauty. She says, she says, <laughs> she got, what did you said something about, yeah, it's in this box and that, I don't Girl, know, what did you, oh, about, so beauty? Yeah, yeah. about beauty? Oh, yeah, about beauty. Oh, well, we said the beauty is from within. Yeah, within. Yeah. Within the box, within the, <laughs> within the bottle, the jar. <laughs> The tube. I was like, oh, God. But here, listen, we're going to get real serious here because um, this is one thing I, uh, as, a, as a, a woman of God and as a prophetic, uh, God has never allowed me to watch other prophets and look at all the shows. I get hundreds of videos a month, uh, and I'm not allowed to look at them. He's just released me this year to look at a couple little things, and they were like a couple minutes, And, and uh, but it was nothing on the uh, 2022 because i got to stay away from that because I cannot parakeet. I've got to speak yes. what heaven has Amen. said to me, and these yeah. girls are just as convicted from heaven for it. So what you hear, you've probably heard from a 100 other prophets, but because God speaks usually the same, but we just, we want to make sure mm -hmm. when we stand before heaven that we brought to you what heaven said and we didn't parakeet it and hear it from brother so-and-so, sister right. so-and-so, and then we just said it to you. Mm -hmm. So what you hear today, hopefully will be something fresh and new for you. Mm -hmm. And girls, while I'm doing this, you know, I'm loaded. So uh, while I'm doing this and tagging you guys, <laughs> you why don't somebody start? Okay. Okay. okay well, um, I wasn't loaded a minute ago, but now God's just yeah. <laughs> I'll download. go ahead and start then. Um, I'm not into numer numerology or any of that. I don't think any of us up here are. But when a year like 2020 has so many twos, like you mm -hmm. have to ask yourself, mm -hmm. like, what does God actually right. say about the number two? And so the number two conveys the meaning of union. Yes. A man and a woman, though two in number, they're made one in marriage, right? In Genesis 2, it talks about that. Mm -hmm. And there is a union also between Christ and the church. We mm -hmm. are his bride. And it talks about that in 1 Corinthians 12. The testimony of God is divided into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And the first Adam sinned and brought death and destruction to the world. But Jesus, however, being the second or the last Adam, 
brings hope of resurrection mm -hmm. and eternal life in 1 Corinthians 15, 21 through 22 and 45 through 49. And see those things? I mean, I wish God had told me that things in 2022 are going to be all roses and sunshine. I wish that that was the case. I don't, I don't wish that. But what I do know is that what God has constantly spoken to me is that whatever's coming, it will not affect God's people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will not touch those who, mm -hmm. whose trust is in him. Mm -hmm. And so God is confirming his union with his bride in 2022, just like the number two represents. He will not allow his bride to be touched. Just like my husband, right now, he's the most protective person over me because I'm pregnant. And he is like, he walked me out to the car. I'm like, you got up early to walk me out to the car because he doesn't want me to slip with my heels. He's like, no, I want to make sure you don't get hurt. Well, the same thing goes for our our bridegroom who is literally up in heaven and here on earth. He's with us constantly and he wants to protect us. So no matter what is coming in 2022, <coughs> he's going to have his protection, like a protection bubble all over us. And so God That's is right. confirming his protection over his children in 2022. He will not allow anything to touch us. And I believe that we're going to continue to see fires and famine and earthquakes and destruction. But if we but, cover our door right. with the blood right. of the lamb, it will not touch us. I also believe that God is bringing a transfer of wealth. And I know we've said this before, but I do I, I see it. I see it in my own life. I see it in our own prosperity and our own finances that the wealth of the wicked is being transferred to the righteous, to God's children. And there will also be, like I said, 2022, a double, double, double anointing for those whose trust is fully in the Lord yeah. and those who are unwavering and believing in him. Mm -hmm. That's and, you know, I, I feel like the Lord is saying, <clears throat> embrace the shaking. Yes, mm -hmm. there is shaking. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are plagues. Yes. yes, there are wars and rumors of wars. And, and, and I believe that he's telling his people, do not fear. No mm -hmm. matter what you see. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, don't fear because this shaking is from the Lord. Yes. Yeah, because right. he's showing the whole world that they can't trust anyone but him. Yeah, Amen. shaking right. everything that can be shaken so that what cannot be shaken will remain. It's exactly what he's doing. You know, the enemy thought that they had us. But the Lord is getting us ready to roar and mm -hmm. soar yeah. with miracles. Yes. Yes. Steph and I were talking about it. We've already seen mm -hmm. miracles lately. We've always seen miracles, but more than ever. Yes, I believe Get it. ready, get ready, get ready. God's flexing his muscles. Yes. He's showing himself. And uh, I, I believe, don't fear. I don't think that socialism will take over. Amen. Do you think God loves America? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. He loves America. He began that perfect work. And whatever he began, he will finish. Yes. And, and right now, I feel like we could be assured that 2022, that wonderful number of unity. That's like the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, isn't mm -hmm. it? The three are one God. Plus the fact that so exciting is in, in unity that if you are a born again believer, yeah. you are one with mm -hmm. the Father, Son, and mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. What could be better in the world? Yeah. Yes, the days will be getting darker and darker, but, but God's glory, his light is coming forth in mm -hmm. such a, a powerful way. And when you look at scriptures, like Proverbs 2.22, you know, it, it talks about that the enemy will be cut off from the earth and the transgressors will be routed out. And uh, in, in Revelations, where it's all the twos, Knowledge, we will see so much knowledge and mm -hmm. wisdom. It's all coming up. Get yes. ready, get yeah. ready, get, get ready. ready, get ready. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, there so will be judgment <clears throat> on the wicked. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, on the wicked. I agree. Amen, yeah. I yes. agree. On the wicked, and, no question. Well, I'll, I'll wait because i got some okay. things to say. You okay. go ahead. And blessing on the righteous. Yes. And so in the midst of all suffering and grief, <laughs> we still could say, I love you, Jesus. Yes. And the Lord is so pleased with all of us <clears throat> who stood with God and kept our eyes on him. Yeah. And Amen. brought us forward. Yes. I, I have been hearing him over and over again just say and declare that I'm an all-consuming fire. 
I'm an all-consuming fire. I have never stopped. And that fire that fell on Pentecost, where it just overwhelmed and a boldness came and changes came, he said, I am coming like that more than ever before. He said, watch my fire burn. And he said, seek me while I can be found. And when you seek him diligently, there is a reward coming to the body of Christ, the righteousness that, that will come upon you. And so he said, um, Psalms 23, 6, surely, on, 23, verse 6, surely means only goodness and excellence and loving kindness and favor and compassion and mercy and grace will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And he said, Psalms 24, 1, is the, the earth is the Lord's and all it contains, mm. the world and those who dwell in it. And yeah. he said, you dwell in my earth. I put you there for such a time as this. Watch my fire burn on the inside of you while you seek me. And when that happens, he said, where all the places where you have felt, and we have felt in this dry and weary land where we're thinking, Lord, please, your living water never, never runs dry. I want to have that again. I want to feel that again. I know it's there. And he said, if you seek me again, you will find me and my fire will take over. And he said, dry bones are now. He said, it's now the time to rise up. Dry bones. You have been laid in the valley. You have been some like he, I, I saw people like just wallowing because it has been so hard. Mm -hmm. But he said, rise up. And when you rise up, link arms with the body of Christ and run mm -hmm. and grab those mm -hmm. that have been in the bottom of the valley and pull them up. And he said, watch my fire burn on the inside of you. It's time to declare his goodness, his excellence, his kindness to be thankful. He said, Stephanie, now more than ever, I want mm -hmm. you to declare who mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that fire can continue burning. And be <clears throat> thankful, be thankful. Give me the glory. Give me the glory. And then um, I was recently at a conference that I was a part of, and he said, 2022, he said, be ready. You have called out to me. You have cried out. You have contended, and I've done this before. I've continued doing it. You've seen it. But he said, I was there, and I watched blind eyes open. I watched a lady who was blind, and then she could see. He said, be ready for my creative miracles, because 2022, yeah. you are in the middle of it. Yeah. He said, if you seek me, and let my fire burn, you will watch that. And then he said, um, Psalms 24, he said, I am the king of glory. I am the king of glory. And he said, who will ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He said, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. He's going to take care of those things that have been false and have been allowed to be false. Uh -huh. He mm -hmm. said he will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation <coughs> is now of those who seek him, who seek the face of God. Mm -hmm. He said, lift up your heads, O gates. He's, ta he's telling us, lift up because he's the king of glory. Be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? I'll tell you what, you've been in a battle, mm -hmm. but now the Lord of hosts, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. And then it ends with lift up your heads, O gates, lift them up, O ancient doors. The king of glory may come in. When you seek him, the reward, the king of glory comes in and it manifests all those things that we've been waiting for. He said, who is the king of glory? He said, it's me, the Lord of hosts. I'm the king of glory. Amen. Amen. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> God, everything everybody said is so big judgment so interesting. On the wicked now. Yes, but yeah. big judgment. You know and what God has happened? <clears throat> Vengeance is mine. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, there, there's so many things that were said, especially in this. God has not stopped. Mm -mm. He wanted mm -mm. to increase the roar of his bride because yeah. his bride is speaking death and he speaks life. Yes. Exactly. And yeah. he's That's always right. been, and he said he's going to continue in 2022. Yes. To um, Mm -hmm. make the authentic come forth from Amen. the false Amen. because yep. there's been so much false and That's his right. people has fell hook, line, and sinker because the anointing is so fine line and they believe all these mm -hmm. things and it's like what he said um, when um, <clears throat> and I don't want to make this at all political I'm just saying one thing about Trump his name when um, he was ready that election God told me to go in and decree because I'm a declaration uh, person I decree and declare every day I'm not name it glam it gra grab it blab it mm -hmm. but I do decree the Word of God and the Word yeah. of God is powerful mm -hmm. active sharper than any double-edged sword mm -hmm. will not return void 
Exactly. All right, so it will accomplish the very purpose that he sent it forth to do. And so I, he told me three things. I want you to come in agreement with the archangel that I have sent. And this is what he's still doing over America. Yes. He has not stopped doing this, okay? And you have got to be encouraged. And he mm -hmm. said to me that day, and I have done it faithfully every day, mm. I come in agreement and take my authority and I hook up with the archangel and the host of angels that you have sent, Father God. And he said, do these three things. Push back the agenda of new world order. Amen. He didn't say stop, but he said, push back, push it back the, yes. um, mm. the agenda to shut my bride's voice mm -hmm. up and push back the agenda to destroy America. Amen. And I'm thinking, well, if Trump won, he done all this stuff. Now, why is all this going to happen? Mm -hmm. He said, it's going to look so bad. Hmm. Charlene, and then he said, pull down the spirit of Antichrist in the White House. I'm thinking, well, hmm. if he's going to win, I mean, yeah, it, didn't, right. make it sense, didn't make sense, but right. you, just, you just listen to the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. And you do what the Lord says, because when it unfolds, then you know. Right. And so I did that. I pulled down uh, the, the spirit of Antichrist in this nation and all the nations, because mm -hmm. it affects everything. Yeah, that's it's right. A, I'm a global girl. God's yes. a global God. And so... Um, I did that. I did that faithfully because he said he was going to separate the authentic from the real. And he said, through this, it's going to look so bad. It's going to yes. look like the end. He yes. said, but this is what he's going to do. And, and you people that, that, that listen so faithfully to the news and repeat it and parakeet it and walk in fear, then you are not walking yes, with God that's right. because yeah. God said it will that's look right. so bad. It will look like the end, but it will not be. Amazing. And he said, and you know what I'm doing through the sharing? I'm teaching my bride that that's she right. listened to outside sources instead mm, of heaven. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. he said, when things are taken, mm -hmm. people are shaken and then I can awaken them. Amen. So see, yep. God, when you're in a wilderness season, God is not taking something from you. He's getting something to you. Yes. He has been in control all along. Do you understand me? And if you are in fear... And if you are in division with your brother and sister because somebody got a vaccine and you don't believe in it, then, I mean, my God, and you're hoping they die. I have literally heard that this week from a friend that I put out for prayer, a dear friend. Yeah. And because he wasn't vaccinated, they said he should die. Wow. And, and I, I, I mean, I don't, and then people say, oh, you shouldn't put that publicly because the witches and the warlocks. And no, they don't have authority here. That's, That's right. right. They don't have exactly. the witches, the warlocks, the uh, hexes and vexes. They don't have no control no. over him. God does. I don't worry about that. I don't, I have faith. I believe. And I know the saints have more than any of that in their little mm -hmm finger. I mean, it's ridiculous that somebody would be in fear and not post something mm -hmm. because yeah. they are afraid that somebody, they're going to they're gonna experience warfare. I've even heard that. Well, I can't post that because I'm already experiencing enough warfare. Well, then, girl, you better, people better put their big panty on because <laughs> and then God said mm -hmm. in 2022, this is the same thing he's doing as he's done from the beginning. He's making our wineskins new in 2022. Yes. He has to have pure wineskins that the glory will hold that can spill out. Not these phony voices, not these people that walk in fear. They have to be That's a voice right. for yes. heaven. Yes. And everywhere I've went traveling, he has told me, everybody there, I have to rally the voices for heaven, back for heaven, because they were all speaking destruction. Mm -hmm. And he said, Isaiah 2022 will be the portion for those that... And it says, and the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. So he shall open and none shall mm -hmm, shut and he yeah. shall shut and none shall open. And that will happen in your life. But it has to happen if you are a real true voice for heaven. You have to be a voice for heaven. It's time that people... He said, he's not playing games anymore with this meat and milk thing. If you're old enough in the Lord, you better have the meat of the word mm -hmm. and not some milk and walk, right. in, and walk in fear and destruction. He said, there'll be no more excuses. Mm -hmm. And when God starts saying that, it's not like he's going to come and beat us up and judge us. But he is saying, listen up. This is the things that he has done so that he can bring his authentic voice forth. Because you have to speak what heaven speaks and not what you see in the natural. You know, you see all this. And I was telling the girls what I was going to um, say something on what God had showed me to a prior mm -hmm. year. Because he's saying he's still doing it this year mm -hmm. in his bride's heart. Yeah, because done. she's yeah. got to mm -hmm. see and, and, right. and believe how heaven does. And the big is in the little and the little is in the big. And until you can figure that out, that it's the things. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. Amen. Because God will send an angel a host and, and you know what? All will know 
that mm -hmm. God sent them and he, that he shouts grace, grace over what he's doing over you. The finished work is what that means. You know, capstone, when you talk to Zerubbabel, when yeah. you talked about I'm shouting grace, grace to that capstone, he yeah. was talking about the finished work, what he was ready to finish and do. He's ready to finish some things mm -hmm. yes. in America, but you know what? He needs a voice down here that he gave authority to, right. yes. to believe it and take it and walk in it. And uh, he, believe me, I don't care what it looks like out there. And he said, those voices that have stood and not shrunk back in fear, they have such a blessing coming because there's so many that I've, right. I've, I've seen, I've seen major people tremble, yeah. yes. run and get yes. vaccines. And say you got to do this. No, I don't got to do nothing but listen to heaven. Right. And exactly. um, and and it's it's well known socially and publicly that I do not believe in the vaccine. I think it's a, an experiment. I think it, well, I, I can tell you a lot more than what it is than that. But the thing is, is um, it is looking back. I mean, um, I'm gonna let me see what I'm let's see if God said anything here. No, that's other notes. I think it's that's very interesting that yeah, say something. Yeah, go one ahead. of the subjects for this year that you've chosen, you're, you haven't just done it with us. You've gone up onto other shows mm -hmm. and done this subject, and it's stronger together, unity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very interesting that two is the number for unity in the Bible, Love and it. God's really showing that in this year, the Church of God, like yes. this church, yeah. the Church of Christ, is going to be stronger together, mm -hmm. just yes. like you chose. <coughs> that we are going to be unified. Yes. Well, we were the to launch it. Yeah. We yeah. were supposed to launch it on our show. This I'm having somebody. I in felt that every way time. Right? So that's every, exactly like, what I heard. Like in mm -hmm. the in the uh, next you know year, I have somebody coming in from major TV shows mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. over the world, and we are launching off stronger together. P P P P. Powerful. It's, it means yeah. things. Yeah, but I'm not going bunch, into yeah. that. But <clears throat> because people need to know that we are for each other. Just because they have a show like ours, a talk mm -hmm. show, we are for them. Exactly. They are yeah. kingdom. That's God right. is moving through them powerfully, every one of them. And so we are launching that so that that will be a start because anything that God calls somebody to, and if he puts a prophetic anointing on it, which I'm an apostle, so I establish things, mm -hmm. what happens is it's like a domino effect. People watch right. it and then this happens and that happens and people grab a hold yes. of it because mm -hmm. he wants that in the That's earth. That's right. And so we are responsible to do that. Heaven is not on plan B. <laughs> no. Heaven is not on plan B. Heaven mm -hmm. is still on plan A. Mm -hmm. Do you yep. understand that? He just needs voices. He does. Because if you, if, if you, you are a voice, okay, of one calling in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Right. Do you realize your, your biggest call? I don't care if you're from pulpits. I don't care if you sit in your living room and pray. Your biggest weapon and your biggest call is your voice yeah mm -hmm. you know. because that voice shifts yes. and changes brings heaven to earth yes. kisses and then something can manifest and your voice is so important mm -hmm. stop speaking stuff you know and saying oh my god the shelves are empty the no those shelves are full in jesus Amen. name yeah. and yes. you will have plenty in lack yes. that's that's, that's what right. that's what uh, the people mm -hmm. of god will have i don't mm -hmm. care what walmart's doing they don't exactly. have toilet paper uh -uh. i don't care right. you mm -hmm. know because i serve a living god that gives manna in the desert, keeps yep. your yes. shoes brand new. Amen. I mean, that's the thing, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I got some more, but go ahead. Somebody got Well, some. you know, I, I feel like uh, the, the brightest of his glory uh, is shining amongst the nations. Mm -hmm. So it's not just America, but it's the nations. nations. Mm -hmm. yes. I, I'm looking for a billion soul harvest yes. to Amen. come in. Amen. That's what God's we all call about. It in and that's yeah. why there's all this shaking. Yes. So when you know it's the Lord, <clears throat> and you know that this is his whole <clears throat> purpose, this is what he wants. They've actually yeah. come, come in, in, but separate. And, and you know what? I believe he's Maybe unmasking he Jezebel. Yes. Amen. For all he really those is. who have been praying, praying, yes. praying, praying, and, and <laughs> so concerned on, about various politicians, various <laughs> people who are evil rising up. They are not. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. it's God's timing. Mm -hmm. You he know, really he's is. drawing. Let him do mm -hmm. his thing. Mm -hmm. And once yeah. again, I repeat, vengeance is the Lord's. Yes. He said, don't get vengeful in your prayers. That's right. Just bless. You know, he said, I backsliders agree, coming he... back to you in 2022. Yes. So backsliders, believe for your families. Amen. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, and I, I just with us talking, he one thing he said that I didn't mention is he said it's a time of prayer and intercession to draw close to him because he draws close to us when we yeah. intercede. So we, we are not only just to speak it out when we're around, we're to go into the secret place. 
Mm -hmm. in, in our prayer closet or whatever that looks like. And we are to intercede and pray because out of that intimacy comes. Yes. And that's where we hear God's voice. That's why Jesus went away to the wilderness. He went mm -hmm. away to hear his father's voice. And then he only did what his father did and he only said what his father said. And that's where we hear. And that's where we know. And so he said, just like King David did that in the fields. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? He moved out in front of the battle and he took Goliath down. Mm -hmm. I do believe all the falseness we're seeing where Jesus is yeah, cleaning, gonna be they're cleaning out the church, yeah. that the Goliath is going to come down. It is. This mm -hmm. year. I, mean, yes. I, mean, I think the church is yeah. going Amen. to arise. And during yes. this whole COVID thing, it's a going lot of the the false yes. churches, they, they oh, they're have been their, closed. Yeah. Colors. Yeah. And they're, they're they've closed. been closed. Mm -hmm. Everything's yeah. coming right. to light. Why? Mm -hmm. They haven't taught on healing. They haven't taught on prosperity. All they've the things Jesus. that his people they've need. they've shut the Holy Spirit out. What yeah. they've done is no, no power. Jesus. Yes. Yes. They, they deny the power. Yes. Mm -hmm. and they they deny the Holy Spirit, and yes. that is a problem. Yes. Yeah. we got to go for now. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I had so much more to say, but you know what? God will say it to you through somebody else. There were some important things that God said, but it's okay. It's okay. God knows. Listen, if you don't know him, this is what we're about. Please receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. You go out there and who knows, you're not, you are not guaranteed another hour. You don't know. You, you do not know what could happen to you. And we don't want you to go to eternity hell eternally. There's heaven and hell whether you want to believe that or not. And all who call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. Not maybe, sort of, kind of. You shall be. And I say this many times. You may be shattered like a million pieces. Like these Redento Raffinettos that are so beautiful. They are nothing but broken glass and garbage until he makes them this beautiful Redento Raffinetto that sits here behind us and they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And that's what God wants to call you, his Redento Raffinetto. Mm -hmm. And he'll pick up all those pieces because you cannot do it. And you may not be able to say everything. Somebody says, well, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, blah, 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 forgive. You know, God knows where you're at right now. You are so broken, some mm -hmm. of you can't even get the name of Jesus out. But he knows that you want him and this you're way. saying this prayer and what you're saying. Gosh, but all who call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. And, and and for those of you that, you know, the Bible makes it very simple. Just forgive me of uh, my sins. I believe you're the son of God. You died on a cross. You rose again. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth. I merge those two and I'm saved, you know. And that's what it says in the Bible. But sometimes, like I just said, you can't even, you can't even say that prayer after me. You're so broken. But God knows. And so if you've done that, call our prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. We want to pray with you, and we want to rejoice with you. I mean, we had gotten one, uh, uh, wow, uh, thousands from the one Pakistan yeah. that time. You know, when we, I mean, well, we're still on there. But, I mean, it's amazing how many people that we get reports of that come to the Lord. And so we're and just miracles. trusting when we get to in miracles. We're trusting when mm -hmm. we get to heaven, we're going to see a bunch of them. So, anyways, please go to our website today. We need your help. Partner with us, $5, $10 a month. You can get this wonderful anointing oil, $20 or more love gift. And so we can keep coming into your home and around the globe with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We need you today. Won't you help us? We love you. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. He loves you so much. It's only goodbye for today. Love you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ.